In this text, then, we are going to talk about the PowerShell switch statement. The PowerShell switch statement is similar to the PowerShell if statement, where it's evaluating an expression based on a few different conditions. So the switch statement is different in that it allows you to provide an expression up front. You can see there in line two, the left paren and the right paren that provides that expression, but it cuts down on a lot of those else if, else if, else if statement that you may run into when using an if statement. So the switch statement works by you, you pass an, an expression to it in parentheses, and then you have expression that one or more expression values underneath that. And then finally, you have that default value, which is the same thing as the else value, the else keyword in an if then else statement. So to show this in action, let's go over a simple example first. So in this example, I have a variable inside that variable season. It's going to be summer. And then I have the expression being evaluated in the switch statement is the variable value. So in this case, it's summer. So, and it's evaluated, it's going to evaluate each of those conditions, every single one of those conditions against summer. And then I have summer in there again to show you how this is going to work in a minute, fall, winter, and spring. So it's evaluating that the value of the season variable a number of different times. And if it doesn't exist, that means if it doesn't match any of those conditions, then it's going to match the default condition, which is then it's just going to say unknown season. So let's see how this works. Okay, notice that it doesn't stop at one. So it matched the summer condition and it says the season is summer, but it matched the summer condition twice. It actually goes down through each of those individual conditions one at a time. By default, it will just do summer, summer, fall, winter, spring. Even if it matches one, it'll just match every single one of those. That's kind of the default behavior. However, normally you will have a break keyword in here. The break keyword essentially says, once you match the original condition, then just go ahead and break. So I will go ahead and put the other summer condition in here just to uh, make sure it doesn't actually match both of those this time. And I will go ahead and run this. And then now notice that it just has one, the season is summer. That's because it, break, it broke the code execution after the first condition was met. Uh, it's very similar to a break and continue in loop if you're familiar with that. All right, so next tip is assigning a variable. The next one is you can actually assign a variable directly to this. Before, I was just outputting it to the console with the write host command. In this case, I'm assigning a variable message. Message equals whatever the output of is of the switch statement. So I'll go ahead and run this. And then now when you see what that message is, the season is summer. PowerShell is able to just directly take the output of that switch statement, whatever condition is met, and go directly to a variable. Next instance is it can actually process elements in array, which is pretty cool. So if you have an array, in this case, I have two seasons, summer and fall. And if I pass that array to the switch statement, you can see that it will actually process each of those elements in an array. So that's a pretty cool feature of the switch statement that it, it knows it can iterate over each of those in the background and just pass each of those to that switch statement. So that's a good way to evaluate different elements in an array. Next, we can use the wildcard statement. So using the wildcard parameter on the switch keyword, we can match very values based on a wildcard. So the asterisk. In this case, I have a short season of just S-U-M-M. -M. And then for each of my conditions, I'm matching just the first few characters. So S-U-M-M-F-A-L-W-I-N, just the first few characters of it, and then anything after that. If I run this, notice that S-U-M-M -M then correlates to summer because my wildcard character matched S-U-M-M -M anything after summer. I could put S-U-M-M, -M, you know, yada, yada, yada. And then it would still match um, summer as well. So that's a good uh, feature for the wildcard. Next, I can use regular expressions or regex. Same example here. I can just choose a season. And in this case, I'm using the regular expression with a caret or the hat, S-U-M-M-F-A-L-W-I-N. That's just a regular expression to define if the expression starts with S-U-M-M-F-A-L-W-I-N or S-P-R. So in this case, it does start with S-U-M-M, -M, so it returns summer. So that's a really good other way to switch statement works with regular expressions. 
And then finally, the switch statement also works with script blocks. So notice before, up here, for all of my conditions, I was defining strings for each of those. So I have a string on 133, 136, 139, and 142 there. Each of those is a string. I've been using strings for everything. I could use strings or integers there, but I can also use a more advanced data type called script blocks. And in this case, I can actually have each of those conditions evaluate another condition. So I'm evaluating dollar age on 153 first, and then at 154 and 157, I'm then evaluating that again with a, an expression inside of that script block. In this case, I have an age of 38. I'm evaluating that, and I'm essentially passing that 38 integer to my dollar underscore less than pipeline variable, dollar underscore greater than equal to pipeline variable. And then it's going to tell me if my age is under 38, I'm young. If it's over 38, I'm old. I guess I'm old. So when I run this, it's just going to say you're old. So on 154 and 157, each of those script blocks is evaluating to whatever that's going to be. So it's a really cool way to evaluate, to have the switch statement evaluate script blocks by evaluating each condition based on a script block. So that was a primer to the switch statement in PowerShell. Thanks for watching.